Hello and good afternoon and welcome to Midweek Church from Belsall Central Church. Well, a new church year has begun and that began on Sunday because it was the first Sunday in Advent. And that is the first four weeks leading up to, to Christmas Day when we think about preparing for Jesus coming into the world. And I'm sure that lots of us are looking forward to Christmas time coming and the weather at the weekend certainly played its part in creating that Christmas feeling, didn't it? And I know that there's some people out there that think that the best way to look at snow is on a Christmas card or in a snow globe. But it certainly was nice for some of us to wake up on Sunday to that dusting of snow, wasn't it? But we are getting ready for Christmas and we are preparing the way for the birth of Jesus. So in today's Young Church, not sorry Young Church, Midweek Church, but it's for the, the young and the young at heart, remember? So, so Young Church is maybe still what we should call it, but Midweek Church today is going to think about how we are getting ready for Advent. What I want to think about today is something which we all have, or we should all have at home, and it's a, a smoke alarm. And I hope, really, that we all do have smoke alarms at home. Because in the event of a fire, a smoke alarm is going to come in quite handy, and it's potentially going to save the lives of you and all your family members because it provides a warning that something's wrong and it gives us the chance to escape. Now, normal smoke alarms aren't very expensive at all and they're fairly easy to install. And I know that things are changing and that we have to get um, extra special smoke alarms but in the scheme of things, they don't cost much at all. It's one of the things that protects us, as I've said, and it's probably one of the best safety devices that we can have in our homes to protect ourselves and our families. However, smoke alarms, the ones that we currently have in our houses, they don't basically last forever do they? Some people think that they've installed a smoke alarm and that's all they've got to do. No more dangers will occur in their house due to fire and smoke. However, a smoke alarm is as only as good as the battery that's in it. If the, the battery loses its power then of course the smoke alarm loses its power and it won't work. We won't receive the warning that something's wrong, that there's a fire or something going on and we won't have the time to escape imminent danger. Now things like smoke alarms usually come with some instructions and if you're like me, you don't read the instructions, you just simply install it the best you can and then you forget about it. And in smoke alarms, there's usually something that says Batteries need to be changed at least one time per year. But you should check it in between times to make sure that the batteries are still good and that the smoke alarm is still doing its job. So just imagine what would happen if you're fixing breakfast and you burn the toast and it sets the smoke alarm off. Has that ever happened in your house? It certainly has happened here. And then we go running and looking for something like a baseball cap and you go and you, you cut, get the smoke alarm and you start flapping something like a baseball cap or something at it to get rid of the smoke, don't you? Well, I suppose that's a good thing that that happens, isn't it? Because it lets us know that, that the smoke alarm is actually working in the house, doesn't it? And some people get so used to hearing the smoke alarm give a false alarm that they ignore it. Or even worse, they turn it off 
so that when you burn the toast, it doesn't make that beep, beep, beep sound. But by doing so, you kind of put yourself in danger when potentially something bad could happen and you're going to be in quite some serious trouble. So if you don't have a smoke alarm in your house, I do hope that you're going to get one because it's something that could save your lives. And if you do have one, make sure that it's able to protect you if and when the time comes. So just as we must make sure that our smoke alarms are ready in case of fire, Jesus tells us that we must be ready for when the time comes for him to return. Now we don't know when that will be, so we've got to make sure that we're at the ready. We've got to keep our spiritual batteries charged by regular worship, reading our Bible and praying. So, sometimes when we hear people saying that Jesus will return on a certain day, that is something that we think about and think, well, when that day comes and then it goes and Jesus doesn't return and we hear so many people talk about false warnings that we begin to think that Jesus will never, ever return again. But Jesus said, keep alert at all times. Pray that you will be strong and do not let that day catch you by surprise. Jesus may not come again during our lifetime, but when he does, we want you to be ready. Don't you? So, as we think on Advent and preparing for the first coming of Jesus when he was born in a stable with Mary as his earthly mother and Joseph as his earthly father and then as he grew as a small boy into an adult and then he started to tell people all about the wonderful love of God and then he died for our sins on the cross and now that he has died for our sins on the cross we await his second coming preparing it's an important thing in our lives making sure things are ready is an important thing in our lives so this advent let's prepare our hearts and our minds for the baby jesus jesus being born the greatest gift of all let's pray together Prepare the way, the prophets call. Make ready the highways for God. Prepare your hearts, for God's realm opens up a new day. Prepare the way. God promises a new day when adversaries will lay down their arms. God of hope, we come to you in the midst of a world fraught with troubles. Although the darkness is powerful, open our eyes, Lord, to the light of your presence. Give us faith to stand against the voices of division and violence. Through your Spirit, remake us into hope-filled disciples, discovering lives attuned to your wonder and sparking in others a desire to know you more. In the name of the one who comes to us, we pray. Amen. Make way, make way. Make way, make way. For the King of Kings. For the King of Kings. Make way, make way. Make way, make way. For the King of Kings. For the King of Kings. Splendor arise, fling wide.